Hey y'all, good morning. I'm happy to be in. I'm so happy, as I mentioned in the previous vlog, that I cleaned everything. I was supposed to come back in here last night, but girl, I lied. <laughs> So I'm back in here and I just love walking into a clean space because I feel like more refreshed. I feel like I can think and breathe more. I feel like I could work better. Even this room, my wig room, is clean. Okay, so I'm ready to get to work. Oh snap, my camera battery is dying. Well, y'all probably gonna see it after I started working today. <laughs> But I'm about to go ahead and get started, y'all. Let me put this on the charger. They kind of know they're worth more now. I'm happy for them. They know they're worth. So, usually, oh, excuse me, it does cost money to work with brand ambassadors and influencers and... No lie, so my ready to ship wigs launch in three minutes. And I'm so nervous about it. <laughs> like, it's been a while since I've launched ready to ship wigs, but also like the prices. I increased the prices on my site maybe three weeks ago. I realized that I had been undercharging by hundreds hundreds of dollars um i never factored in taxes crazy right and i never factored in the price of the split payment options so the split payment options um sezzle zip clarina they're taking about 10 percent. i know they give people different rates um, but for me, it's 10% and that's pretty high. So if somebody orders a $500 wig and let's say you're not already charging the price that you're supposed to charge, right? Let's say it's a, this is an $800 wig, but you charge in $500 for it. You already missing out on $300. Then they take out 10%, 10% of 500 is 50. So now you're missing out on $350. It's just a lot. So I had to go back in and factor in a lot of different, um, a lot of different expenses. And then also the fact that every year I'm just becoming a better wig maker. I have gotten so much better with my curls this year than I was in previous years. So whenever you're getting better, you should charge more money um, because of that. So then there's that so I'm a little nervous because obviously and I still discounted the prices that's crazy I still discounted the prices um but the prices are still higher than what they normally are and it's just ugh. it's a little nerve-wracking um But I know, I know it's gonna turn out amazing. I can't wait. Um, I can't wait for all of those to sell out. And yeah, so, oh, we got one minute. Let me get my website ready so I can go ahead and to make those active because right now I set those products as a draft. I already have a text that's gonna automatically go out. 
and oh, okay let me set it set it as active right now set as active all right so those are now active on the website <laughs> i get so excited all right i got some people on the website right now i got some people on the website right now so Keep on my fingers crossed. But yeah, y'all. Um, I already created like the guidelines and stuff for some of these wigs. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and get those stitched up. That's what y'all gonna see. And um, yeah, let me get to work. <laughs>
Good morning, y'all. <laughs> it is Sunday. I really did not want to work today. I didn't want to work yesterday either. Yesterday, I bleached all the knots and washed the wigs. And then that was all I did yesterday. And today, I'm back at the office. And I really don't like working on the weekend, Sunday in particular. But y'all, I really just want to get these Black Friday, Cyber Monday wigs out of the way. I knew my goal was to have them all done by, um, not this weekend, but next weekend. So the upcoming Saturday and Sunday. But to be completely honest, I want these out by Tuesday, <laughs> Wednesday at the latest. So that is why I'm here. And, um, yeah, that is why I am here and I am ready to get to work. So that is what y'all are going to be seeing today. Um, I have two wigs over here that I want to construct on the sewing machine. I'm trying to think. I got hair over here, but why haven't I started them? Oh, okay. Yeah. So see, I had all of the hair and stuff over here. I only got one shelf left. So I'm waiting on this customer to send in the closure because they gave me a 360 frontal. Um, this customer, one of these customers, one of them want a U-part wig on a ventilated cap. I don't use ventilated caps no more. Like, it's on the website. I took it off the website for a reason. I don't use it, but I had a customer make a request for it, which means I have to go and order a cap or go to the beauty supply store and get a cap. I don't have it available here because I don't use it anymore. So, um, yeah, going forward, I'm going to stop doing a special request because y'all. Okay. 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 <laughs> I hope I don't sound like I be doing the most or or whatnot, but I'm very particular. It's just how my brain works. In order for me to function without being stressed out, I adapt certain routines, certain habits. So, and, and the reason I do that is because it keeps me on track. I can, I can work in order. Like when I put the orders down here on the board. I legit make everything in order one then when I'm done with that one I do the next one when I'm done with that one I do the next one I do everything in order so when people are making special requests about the the caps that they um want to use or they're not sending in the right products it gets me off track and then that's where I end up making mistakes that's when I end up making somebody else's wig on the wrong cap or I ship the wrong order out to someone else like it completely throws me off track and that's when I start making mistakes and messing up so in order for me to not make mistakes and mess up I create a system of how I do things so it's just like whenever people make a special request or they don't follow the rules, like it just impacts me so much. That's, that's just me knowing how I work and trying to gain control, making sure I don't make mistakes. And it's just, uh, uh. it frustrates me. And I don't look frustrated. I'm smiling right now. It frustrates me, but it's just like, uh, uh. so yeah. So those are sitting over there. I can't even start on those. So chances are I'm not going to be done with wigs on Wednesday. Because anyways. <laughs> At the end of the day it's my fault. Because I accepted the special request. Or I was like you know what it's fine. Yeah you can just send it in at another time. Yeah instead of just cancel, refund and ship the stuff back to them. You know. <sighs> I am not, this feels so good. Ugh. I'm not going to let this stress me out today. We're going to be in and we're going to be out. In and out. In and out.
Make me yours, just take me now. I'm helpless to resist. Got me so invested in this thing. It's more than just a fling. It's more than just a fling. It's more than just a
to see you again That was simply delusion Followed up with confusion I was just substitution For your lonely bed So that's impressive How much you miss since I've been on live so I think I'm gonna go live on Facebook oh cuz I have not gone live on Facebook in years <laughs> I'm being dramatic when I say years but it's been a very long time I think I'm gonna go live styling these wigs and just talking to people working on black friday cyber monday orders i wanted to be done with all the orders today <laughs> but it's really looking like i would be done with all the orders on friday but either way the goal is to be done oh i got a book recommendation for y'all y'all lately i've been listening to this book i'm not finished with it it was like 12 hours long I like to listen to it as I work. So I'll probably listen to it once I get off live with y'all. Um, but it's called The Millionaire Fast Lane. 
y'all when I tell y'all this book is a game changer I've read so many books business related books um books about making money but when I tell you this book is number one on my list so far and I'm not even done listening to the book it is number one on my list what I really like about it so far is it's definitely a mindset shifter I feel like a lot of people are stuck they're not making the type of money they want to make they're not living the lifestyle they want to make um, they're not living the lifestyle they want to live and it's all it's not because they're not talented It's not because they don't have resources available or tools available It's mainly because of mindset people their mindset their way of thinking is going to hold them back so Kind of like if you ever read or listened to the book rich dad poor dad That's one of those books. That's a mindset shifter because it helps you change how you view um money and i know for me like it really shifted my mind but this millionaire the fast lane millionaire what what did i say it was called again the millionaire fast lane that book right there it shifts it shifts your mind it, it literally telling you why you're not a millionaire it's really telling you how millionaires move it's telling you how average people move which he calls it like the slow lane to success it walks you through the different lanes so you got the slow lane and you got the fast lane he perfectly describes both and he perfectly describes how to get to the fast lane and where people go wrong and shifting like certain beliefs for example he was talking about how there's a stigma that fast money is a scam a lot of people when they think about making money fast they automatically equate it to being a scam which is also something i thought like if anybody telling you you can make ten thousand dollars by tomorrow it certainly sounds like a scam but he helped me to realize no making fast money is the way to go and that should be the ultimate goal um what's a scam is making a lot of money easy because there's nothing easy about making a lot of money or making millions so if anybody is telling you that it's easy that's the scam but making money fast is the ultimate goal so it really helped me shift my thinking i have to listen to audiobooks as i work but the book is already helping me tremendously I know next year is going to be an amazing year for me. The reason why a lot of people aren't successful is because of lack of knowledge. You can't do better if you don't know how to do better. You can't do better if you don't know what steps you need to take in order to do better. So that's why knowledge is so powerful. And knowledge is all around us. It's about to be 2023. Everybody has access to knowledge, the knowledge that they need, the knowledge that makes a difference. We got access to the internet. We got access to other people, billions of people all around the world every day because of social media, free social media sites. It's just a matter of seeking out the information. Anything that you know you don't know or that you struggle with, there's no reason to continue to struggle with that stuff and to not know that information. You have to make it a mission to seek out the information you don't know. So like, for example, I'm a wig maker. My customers ask for bobs all the time. For a long time, I have not offered bobs because your girl can't cut a bob to save her life. Now, I could live with that. I could be like, oh, I suck at cutting a bob and just live my entire life not knowing how to style a bob, cut a bob, layer a bob. Or... I can recognize, hey, this is a weakness. This is something I struggle with and make a decision to learn how to do it. I can watch YouTube videos. I can reach out to somebody that creates, um, makes bobs really well and pay for a course, pay for a class, pay for a one-on-one. -on -one. I do not have to live with knowing that I have a weakness in the area. I don't have to live like that for the rest of my life. And think about how much money that I'm leaving on the table just by not having bobs. Bobs will be the most affordable option on my website. People are always looking for affordable prices. I don't care how much money they got. 
um it wouldn't take long at all it doesn't require a lot of hair to make a ball it wouldn't take long at all for me to 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 make one create one and put it on the website so think about how much money i'm missing out on all because for a long time i settled with the fact that i'm not good at something even though the resources are available the tools are available right so it's the same way with everything. If you struggle with building wealth, why why do you have to continue to struggle with building wealth? Why are you not reaching out to people who who are good in that area? If you suck at marketing, you don't have to always suck at marketing. Once you acknowledge that you have a weakness in a certain area, it's your responsibility to turn that weakness into a strength. You know? Or at least seek out the information or seek out an individual that can do that for you. me saying that I want it to be done by Wednesday and it's Friday <laughs> oh my gosh it looks like I'm just gonna be on my regular schedule that I said earlier or in the last vlog when I were talking about I want to be done by Saturday cuz listen I got one two three I got about three more weeks to make on the sewing machine I still got to take them home and bleach the knots and wash them and I still got to style them so today is probably going to be another all-nighter or not an all-nighter but where i work in the morning and i work in the evening and then i come back first thing in the morning to get everything finished and packaged up the reason why i haven't been able to hold on the reason that i haven't been able to finish all of the wigs is because y'all I've been so exhausted and overwhelmed and just, 
I don't know, but it's caused me to move so slow. All of these weeds could have been done by Wednesday, but because I just feel like, ugh, like I just, I have not felt motivated or anything, and I've just been dragging. I've been feeling exhausted, and I feel like I've just been dragging and moving so slow. And y'all, another thing, I've been making so many weeks, I have not had a chance to do anything to my hair. That's why y'all been seeing me with this dog on scarf. Like, that's why every time y'all see me, my hair is not done, nothing. I don't have the time to do it. <laughs> so I am thinking about for the new year, I'm just going to just have to get a stylist and have someone do my hair for me. I might not even be able to wear my own wigs because like I said, I never have time to make them, refresh them, revamp them, nothing. So. Saturday. I received some terrible news yesterday. Um, and I ain't gonna lie, like it was very difficult to come into work. I feel like I've been dragging all week all together, but the news that was received last night completely devastating. It's like I can't even enjoy myself or I can't even like It's like I can't even pull my thoughts together because I have so much work. So honestly my goal is to finish up these wigs. My post office closed at 6 p.m. All of the wigs have been created on the sewing machine. All of the wig ha wigs have been bleached and plucked. All I got to do is style them and ship them out. been stuck like you ever receive news and it stop you in your tracks and it just makes you look at life differently I've just been stuck and I don't know y'all and I still have customers who have yet to send in their packages So I can make their wigs. We're just going to get the work done. We're going to just get the work done. That's Just focus on the work. They dream.
trauma but try search inside my love carry the winds drowned out the Yeah.